Many people today, either Christians, Jews, Muslims, or atheists, hold to the belief that the Jewish people have no right to the land of Canaan, the land that God promised to the seed of Abraham. Some theologians claim that the promises made to Abraham's descendants is superseded, and that the land is of no significance. This, however, is not found in the Bible at all, and that many prophecies describe the return to Israel with the redemption of its people. Genesis 17 verses 3 to 8 And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Romans 11 verses 1 to 5 I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God hath not cast away his people which he foreknew. What ye not the scripture saith of Elias? How he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and digged down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life? But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. There are so many points to make about Israel's spiritual right to the land, especially since this was an everlasting covenant made to Abraham through the child of promise, which was Isaac. As the land is of high political and religious significance, it is important to recognize the fact God made himself first known to Abraham, then to Isaac, Jacob, and his sons. Nothing can take away the promises made to the Jewish people, as the New Testament also supports.